We've got Penpot here. I've never touched it before, but we're going to see if I can figure things out. We'll come here to sign up for free. So it wants us to create an account. I'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Now it wants a little bit of onboarding here. So I'm going to put in my full name. Agree to terms of service. Going to be using Penpot, uh, you know, for just exploring. That's why we're here. I use Figma the most. It's a team. Okay. So it's talking about inviting additional people here because they have multiplayer, right? Uh, you could start creating a team. You could start without a team. We'll see what it's like if I do trusty bits here. Great. So I'm into my home landing page here now. Looks not too unfamiliar that I've got different files or projects. They're calling them projects here and drafts, libraries, fonts. Okay. So, and I can pin certain projects here along the left and user drop down, change between a personal and a team workspace. It looks like, or create new teams as well. A little bit of team management options here, leave, delete settings, etc manage the users. Things for my personal account, I'm guessing. Yep, we've got that here in the bottom. Some general help. So I wanna go ahead and make an empty file first. So we've got a toolbar across the top, it would seem, and some interface on the right and the left. Got some rulers here. Again, nothing too foreign, right? It feels relatively familiar. Looks like I have pages, uh, and then I'm guessing these are gonna be layers. Yeah, well, it says here layers. Different layers shown on page one where I'm at. I can flip to assets here as well. So all in all, it feels pretty comfortable, pretty familiar. So let's say I'm gonna go grab a a web app that maybe I can uh, <clears throat> try and imitate. Let's just go grab the Google homepage. Dropping in here. So we've got this web page, this landing page. I was able to paste an image easy enough. So it shows up in my layers over here on the left. So let's just see now. I can see the dimensions. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can. Look, we've got a board here. Shift keeps our dimensions as I scale it. Uh, I didn't see any preset options for the board. So looks like I will just manually scale this guy. Let's just go width 40 and that's super strange now what happened. Oh, it's an extra board. Oh, it's a board inside a board. My bad. Sorry, guys. Okay, width 1440. Height, let's do 1080 for now. Uh, let's just make a rectangle here. Sweet, we've got a 100 by 100 rectangle. Let's say we want this to be, you know, 560 wide. This can be, it looks like we've got some snapping guides here. This can be like our logo, I suppose. It looks like this rectangle lives indeed inside this board. The board has some layout settings here. It looks like there's a flex layout. Maybe we'll give that a try just for funsies. Any changes? Let's see. I think it looks like a lot of padding. This guy's not centered, but it won't let me relocate it. So it seems to be following some logic or rule-based layout settings. Great. That's technically what I was looking for. Uh, I probably should like not get too complex and use such a, a layout <laughs> setup right now. I should probably stick with the real simples. We'll grab another rectangle here. Oop, look, it just popped it there. Yeah. So it's absolute. Yeah. Okay. So absolute means now I'm going to be able to put it wherever I want. So let's say that this guy is 100 tall is probably fine, but we'll make it 20, uh, 100 wide, 24 tall. We'll bring him up to there. Alt, hold, click, drag gives me a nice extra one. We'll bring a couple more over here. And then this one, we're going to actually make uh, 32 by 32. And then the last one is, I don't know, 48 by 48. A little scrunched there, but we'll make it work. Let's put these guys. If I right click, maybe it gives us the option to. I could group them. Oh, I could take. I could turn this selection into a board. So you might be familiar with the word frame from other software, as am I. It seems to be the board is the word that they use here inside of Penpot. I wanted to grab these guys. We also want to make this selection a board. They're a little out of order. That's fine. These two, we're going to bring them together, and they're also going to be a board. And then if we take the parent board, looks like. Uh, fit content, fix height. Okay. Well, what I'm imagining is I need some items going vertically and some items going horizontally. And I'm not sure it's probably within like maybe that setting. Yeah, there we go. So we want to take then this guy and he's going to probably go, we don't want to fix width. We want, oh, okay. It looks like it's already at like a hundred percent and I can see that the contents are spilling over the edge. So maybe if we go back, yeah, okay, here's the padding I was dealing with earlier, and I could not find the setting for it. So I want 20 and 20 for now. Probably want 40 and 40 maybe. We can adjust later if we need to. Uh, and then while we're here, I'm also going to add, looks like I can't click and drag inside this box to make an adjustment. Um, so that's that's okay. Uh, we'll put in just 120 for now, get some distance there. Let's come back to this guy. He's got two separate boards inside of him. He's got these two guys on the left, the rest over on the right. We want to see if we can make them kind of spread out and go far left to far right. It looks like the width of the board is good. So we, what we need to do is add another, probably a flex layout here. They're, oh, okay. Now they're aligned center. And based on just like the icons here, I'm going to guess it's this guy justifying the content. Looky there. Let's maybe grab this board. And he also needed a layout particularly because, yeah, okay. Got the guys centered there now. And I also think uh, I want the 
the height of the box to compress to the contents, uh, but I'm not sure. It didn't do it automatically for me, which that's also fine. Maybe that's something I'm used to or expecting, but is there any kind of like setting with the height? No. Ooh, they got size presets here. Okay, that's something I was looking to see earlier when I created the board. What's this? Clip content. Cool. Show in view mode. Okay, all good stuff. They've got a wrap feature here. That one's familiar. It's interesting. They've got this, like, uh, not only do they have, like, horizontal and vertical, but they have left to right, right to left, you know, both directions. So that one could be interesting. Uh, I mean, that's probably what I want. Just Actually, I think I want it justified to the start, and then I wanted to say, like, specify gap between the two objects there. I feel like we need... Uh, okay, fixed content horizontal. Is that? Oh, look! I think that might have been what I was looking for. So now, if I click the fixed content height, yeah, it's it's basically shrinking to the uh, the objects that are inside. It's great. So okay, now we're gonna come back over to this layout. Give it a flex. Sorry, this board. Give it a flex layout here. We want to center them vertically. We want them. Okay, it looks like they're starting from the left side. We might as well just start them from the right. Not a huge difference. Give them all uniform gap there, and then we also want to make the width of this containing board. Uh, fit content, as they call it here. So we'll do that for the height and the width. Great. So we've got a couple of sections there now. Now, if we move on from basically the header section here, which as I'm looking at our sample image, I can see a uniform uh, gap with these two spots here. And it looks not quite uniform. That could have been my screenshot was a little off on the edges. But I do want this to be uniform, which is not what I'm seeing here. So what we could do, let's make a little bit of guesses here. We could just try 32, 28, maybe. Probably good enough for there. Looks pretty close to what we've got uh, over on our reference image. Let's go back to the overall layout and, of the parent board. If we center items, good, looking good. Okay, so we've got this guy. Let's make a copy, perfect. Uh, this one, however, we want to be, let's try rounding his corners. I think this is, you can, you can choose the corners separately or we could choose all of them at once. Uh, wow, 16 did not make as big a dent as I was expecting. All right, and the height of this is maybe just 64. Nope, how about, uh, 48. We'll go with 48 for now. Nope, we're going to do 56. Well, not a one, yeah. Which means technically uh, we've got an extra amount of rounding and it is handling that just fine. I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab one of these icons. Looked like I was able to do sort of a deep select there. The alt, when I hold alt to make a copy of my friends, like if I have a bigger shape like this, I hold alt, it's showing me the dimensions of the shape. I think that's super helpful, actually. That's a really cool feature. But on a smaller shape, uh, it does mean that like, <laughs> like where'd the shape go once I hold the alt key, you know? So that's a, that's a fun one here. Uh, we're going to turn this rectangle into a you know, actually what we want is, let's grab, okay, now I'm going to do Command C, Command V. I'm going to grab three of them. This time we're going to, what's the shortcut? Turning it into a board is Control Alt G. I should have known that one. And this we want to give a layout here, a flex layout. We're going to go left to right. It's being a little silly, but yeah, let's fit our content there. Give them a, a gap of, mm, start with 20. Let's, uh, is this my padding? Yeah, this is padding. Let's give this 20 and this 20. And then we're going to, we want to add a fill to this board. Okay, looks like it did that for us. We'll make this a little bit lighter. And then, uh, let's see, if I select this board, press the Enter key, good, it selected all of the children here. We'll make this just a little bit darker, a little better contrast there. We're really just winging it here, there's no specified uh, numbers, not currently using any kind of library or design system. Give this some rounding, perfect. Uh, and then I'm also gonna take these two guys and we are going to Control Alt G them, Command Alt G, of course, if you are, Command Option G, if you are on a Mac. So now they're set up together. The three of them are all set up together, which means I should be able to increase this to say 120. Look at that, perfect. Uh, what we don't actually want though is, so let's just make the whole thing wider. So we're gonna just do a fixed width. Uh, no, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> it was stretching the, uh, the radius there around the corners and I was like, ah, oh, that's not what I want, but it fixed it when I let go of the keyboard. So when I let go of the mouse rather. So then we also, at this point now, I think we want to do the, it's this one, right? Justify content, space between. Boom. Okay. That's looking pretty good. Pretty similar to our reference image over here. Uh, I'm noting that it's not telling me, okay, here's the height, 72. I was going to say, it looked like we weren't fully rounding our corners. And we'll just bump this up to 40. It should be extra. That's fine. I'm also going to come grab all of these guys and give them maybe like a four pixel uh, rounding. Probably do the same for everybody up here. Dig it. Okay. Sweet. Even, even you, mister. You're going to get actually 16. Nice. Okay. This one here, let's cut paste, put it into a grouping, give it a flex layout, go left to right. Uh, and they're both a little big. So if we can select them, let's say we only want you to be I don't know, 200 pixels wide. Great. Uh, we also probably only want uh, the four, maybe eight. I'm all over the place here. This is super inconsistent. We're going to hug or as they call it fit content. We need a little bit of a gap here. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Uh, there's a footer here. I mean, let's not be lazy. Let's go make the footer okay. Um, 
I'm actually going to copy the header, bring that down, and then at that point I also am going to want to... I wonder if there's a different way. Can I make this like attached specifically to the bottom? Hmm. I'm also noticing, I think I'm going to want to add a padding to the header specifically. What padding did I have here? 2840. Let's give this 2840. And then uh, we're also going to have to redo the little, uh, nope, that wasn't what we wanted. We wanted it filled. That was my bad. But we want the height. Yes, the height is going to fit content. Go back to the parent board. Let's zero out those margins. This one probably also needs the 2840 since I copied it before that. Hit the height. Perfect. It's not going to have this friend. Technically not going to have either of those. Uh, but it is going to have another one of those and another one of these as well as can I there we go one of those there we go I make this guy you know kicks and giggles will make him 56 uh, they're all a little bit bigger than they probably should have been I'm seeing that now uh, wireframes for the text boxes wireframe elements that's okay yeah I think we're, we're gonna come back up I found it earlier don't don't tell me the answer I know I can find it uh, so it was under layout I'm pretty sure right I'm not seeing it now where did it go Independent corners. It's this. It's absolute. There we go. Okay. So it's an absolute guy now. So we can bring him down to the bottom. And we're going to give him, we're going to make sure that this board has a fill. That's a pretty light fill. Not all the way white. It's a little, uh, a little sticky there. Didn't quite grab the way I wanted, but that's okay. Sweet. Ugh, that inadvertently happens to be almost the same as my background. Can we change that, please? Yeah. Perfect. Look at this little off dark blue there. All right. So we're only missing uh, one thing, and it's pretty close to this guy's size. So we're going to pop him in there. I'm going to grab each of these now. I'm going to, let's see, is there a way to like automatically throw them into a layout? Is there a keyboard shortcut for that? Add flex layout. And I probably should have known that keystroke as well. Would have been smart if I would have tried it first, you know? <laughs> so we don't want 120 here. Let's just try 32 out. Looking not too bad. Uh, and it's starting to make me think that if I, no, because there is, I see that this is like not centered vertically. So in some ways, like that's almost right where I want it. You know, I don't have like maybe this button here that's next to the logo. I'm not too worried about that one for now. Uh, all in all, uh, I mean, I've got a really basic wireframe now here that is replicating this web page. I feel like this is pretty similar to what I would have created in another tool. 100% uh, I did not explore all of the features. I didn't really dig super deep, but this was, again, my very first time ever using PenPot. So I just wanted to get in here, kind of see if I got, you know, an understanding, could get a grip for all of the controls and not really feel too lost. So I feel like I was able to accomplish that. I got this basic wireframe going now. And yeah, it's, it's cool. I think I'm going to spend a little more time trying to dabble with PenPot moving forward. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow and subscribe TrustyBits if you want to see anything more about PenPot or other design tools and software.